Hi, my name is Lorenzo Valente. I'm the director of research of the digital asset team at ARK Invest. And today we're going to go through the big ideas video. We're going to react uh, to it. Hello, my name is Lorenzo Valente. I'm the director of digital assets at ARK Invest. And today we're going to talk about big ideas and the biggest takeaways from scaling blockchains. Um, this also has been a pivotal year uh, for these uh, technologies. We've had one of the biggest technical upgrades uh, on Ethereum, um, cutting the cost of transactions on layer twos, which are blockchains that allow for cheaper and more efficient transactions, um, to cut the cost by almost 10 to 20x. And this has had um, two very direct consequences. We have seen the user base uh, on Ethereum go from the Ethereum base layer to these layer twos um, to benefit from lower cost of transactions. And now if we look at the market, more than 85% of the transactions uh, on Ethereum take place on these cheaper layer twos. The other very direct consequence is that this has spurred a tremendous activity uh, overall. And we've really seen the number of transactions um, of the overall ecosystem skyrocket in the last uh, year. Okay, so um, this is um, still the case. Uh, obviously, the, um, the Ethereum upgrade um, took place last year. Um, I think today um, the trend has really continued. We see most of the users interact with, the, with Layer 2s. Um, and we'll talk. We'll talk about a lot of the the companies actually that have um, been onboarded to layer twos and, and that uh, that justify really users uh, um, uh, transacting there. I think one interesting point to uh, um, to to react to this this video is um, the Ethereum Foundation has really taken scaling um, very seriously, both on layer twos but also on on the layer one on the base layer, uh, and so. We are um, most likely uh, this year going to have more upgrades, which we'll be able to talk about in, in the big ideas at the end of this year, uh, and, and especially um, increasing the gas limit, which is increasing the, the compute on the, on, the, on the base layer to be able to uh, really, for certain users, choose uh, if you still want to transact on the Ethereum layer one or on uh, layer twos. But today the trend is uh, very much uh, keeping pace. And with more and more companies really building their layer twos, uh, users not only from a transaction uh, perspective uh, in terms of cost uh, are really enticed to go to layer twos, but also in terms of applications and, and, and companies uh, building on, on these layer twos. Looking, double clicking at layer twos, um, the biggest story in 2024 has been BASE. Uh, so BASE is the layer two network incubated and designed by Coinbase, the centralized exchange. And they have, you know, by all metrics, if we look at active users, number of transactions and revenue generated, BASE has really taken all the oxygen out of the room and accounts for more than 50% in uh, most of these very important metrics um, of uh, layer twos. So this is also a very interesting part where um, base is still, I would say the most active uh, and the biggest layer two today, but we've had some very, very important announcement in the last, in the last six months since the video. Uh, and I think that the landscape is uh, is possibly going to change, which is very exciting. But we've had um, very big exchanges and companies announce, uh, you know, competing layer two with base. So on one hand, we've had uh, Kraken that has announced Inc, which is going to be a layer two uh, design and launched by Kraken, the, the European exchange. Uh, and so we think, um, you know, that is also going to uh, compete in terms of activity. And a few weeks ago, we've had really Robin Hood with uh, a variety of announcements, and, and one of which was uh, that Robin Hood is going to, to tokenize um, a lot of, uh, of their um, asset stack and products, and they're going to launch their own Layer 2 
uh, the Robinhood chain, which is uh, going to be on the Arbitrum stack, um, which is different technical stack than uh, than Base. Uh, we've also seen Securitize, the tokenization issuer and and uh, a company, uh, partner with Athena. They're also going to launch uh, their own layer two called Converge, and so. I think since this this video, we've had a lot, a lot of competition and new companies uh, coming to the space. And so uh, we believe that is, as I mentioned before, going to give users even more um, uh, e even more reasons to come to, to Layer 2s. And we're going to see very healthy competition between uh, these big centralized uh, exchanges and companies. We can also mention WorldCoin. Uh, they are also building their their layer two on the optimism stack, and so I think this this update is very very exciting. And I think at the end of the year we'll have uh, much more information uh, and and new dynamics uh, in terms of layer twos. As we talked before with uh, with tether and uh, efficiency in in the smart contract land, this has been a pivotal year for decentralized applications um, and decentralized networks. If we look at um, the spot volume of uh, decentralized applications of public blockchains and derivatives volume, they have gained tremendous market share compared to their counterparts, uh, starting at 8 and 3% uh, at the beginning of the year and more than doubling that. Uh, and today, in January, we're seeing the spot volume almost hit 20%. On the centralized uh, counterpart um, uh, market, we have seen uh, Binance lose a significant market share in this uh, in this last year, with Bybit and OKX and other centralized exchanges um, taking some market share from from Binance. Talking about e efficiency of uh, of smart contract ledgers, um, we've taken a look at the biggest uh, spot trading uh, venues on public blockchain such as Radium, Uniswap, Orca, uh, Aerodrome, and compared those to their centralized counterparts such as Coinbase, Binance, or OKX, for example. And, you know, it's really impressive. We see that the decentralized counterparts are five to ten times more efficient uh, than, the, than the centralized exchanges with protocols and companies with fewer than 100 employees doing you know the same order of magnitude of volume as uh, centralized exchanges that have four five six or even ten thousands uh, of employees so this is uh, also something that we'll we'll probably talk about at the at the end of the year um, in terms of spot trading and really if we compare, trading on the decentralized infrastructure and applications and centralized exchanges. This is still a trend I think that is going to be extremely interesting to follow. Uh, if we look at the decentralized exchange volume to centralized exchange volume, that trend has continued upward. And I think in the last month we've touched 25 to 30%. Uh, and so really what you're seeing is the permissionless uh, capital formation and programmable, uh, you know, smart contracts leverage, you know, at the the on the on the deck side are really uh, powerful and really, you know, taking over a lot of the centralized exchange volume, as well as just the fact that a lot of these centralized exchanges are also launching their own layer two, as we mentioned before, and so now you really start to have um, companies that have a hybrid model where they have Coinbase has its centralized exchange, but it's also, you know, incubating and uh, supporting a lot of decentralized exchanges on, on base. And so we're seeing these, this upward trend. Uh, obviously, smart contracts uh, um, are becoming more and more efficient. And so if you see um, the ratio of employees to volume, this is, this is really a trend I think that will we'll continue uh, to to exist and um, and uh, I, I'm very excited at the at the end of the year potentially to talk about uh, hyper liquid and some of the the new decentralized exchanges that have continued to eat uh, market share from from centralized counterparts. I want to wrap up this um, this scaling blockchain um, part with Solana. Um, Solana has been really the biggest comeback story of 2024. Um, 
with the price of the token at $8 in the depth of the bear market, we've seen a tremendous turnaround of, uh, of Solana with really a focus on the base layer with strategic trade-offs and a high performance design. Solana now does a four to five times more uh, transaction throughput than Ethereum and its layer twos combined uh, at almost 800 uh, TPS. And in many metrics that uh, we analyze and we follow, um, and fees, revenue, and uh, active users, uh, Solana is really competing now with the likes of Ethereum and even Bitcoin uh, to really insert itself on you know what we could call a top a top three and a big three of the digital asset uh, industry. This really has been uh, you know emphasized and highlighted by uh, the developer community. And the trends that we've seen in 2024, uh, when we look at the net new crypto developer, Solana has taken the first place over Ethereum. And uh, we're seeing a lot, a lot of founders and developers uh, wanting to develop their smart contract and launch their product first on Solana. Base is now uh, the biggest layer two on Ethereum in terms uh, of active developers and has inserted itself in the top five of blockchain with the, the most uh, net new crypto developers. And as you know, these blockchains continue to grow, uh, we believe then that Solana and Base uh, will attract even more users uh, in, in, in 2025. So uh, I think the year for Solana is going to continue to be very, very uh, exciting. Uh, this is still very much the case in terms of TPS uh, uh, performance. Uh, Solana continues to be um, uh, better than 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 Ethereum Layer One and even the the Layer Twos. And so, if we look at the rest of uh, of this year, um, I I do believe that the the net new developer is going to continue to choose either the, the SVM, which is the Solana um, operating system, or the EVM, which is the, the Ethereum uh, operating system. And I think we'll have, um, you know, I was talking about Base and Solana being the two biggest ecosystems in, in, um, in terms of net new developers. Um, I believe that is very much going to continue. As, as I said, a lot of the new onboarding uh, from Robinhood and other centralized exchanges, I think is going to push even more developers uh, on uh, on these uh, uh, these chains, um, Solana also is going to continue aggressively uh, to improve its base layer. That is really uh, their north north star, and so they have um, they're going to continue to roll out uh, you know Fire Dancer, their their new execution client, and they also have you know Alpen Glow, which is uh, you know a new consensus client. So there are really both from Ethereum and Solana. Uh, very exciting upgrades, uh, and they're they're increasing really the the velocity of uh, of of upgrades.